Hello, and in this video, we're going to continue working on our subtle carabiner pen. Uh, this time, we're going to make the middle housing or the middle part of our pen. Uh, so to do this, I'm going to do this in a separate part studio. We could continue on the same one, uh, but I'm going to do each separate kind of sub-assembly on a different part studio. Uh, so while I'm in this part studio, I'm just going to hit plus and create part studio. Uh, that's going to make it easier when we go to assemble the thing at the end. Uh, so now I'm in my new part studio, and I'm going to start on the front end and kind of work my way back uh, for the most part. So I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to put it on the right plane. I'll turn the right plane so we can start on the origin and do a center point circle. Uh, then you click on the new center, and we need to make a circle. Uh, we measured it to be 0.667 uh, using our dial caliber. That was the measurement we got for that uh, outer edge. I'll hit my green check to accept. I'll change to an ISO view so we can see. And then first section, I'm just going to do an extrude. And I'm going to have it extrude forward. Uh, this part, I'm going to have extruded forward a distance of 0.55. Uh, this is the part that's going to have my threads on it. Uh, it's going. To, I want to keep it uh, flat or not lofted uh, because it's going to be a lot easier when we go to add our threads. Uh, if you look at it, it looks like it may be lofted. It's hard to tell, uh, but we're going to keep it flat and then loft the next section. Right, so we'll accept that, and that gives us the beginning of our shape. Next, we want to make a plane. Uh, so I'm going to start with a plane. I'm going to click on my right plane because that's the same spot as my back of my object. And I want it to switch direction, so I'm going to hit that arrow to opposite direction. Uh, we're going to put it about one inch back, so it's in the right place already, and hit our green check to accept. Uh, then we need to do a sketch, so I'm going to hit sketch, and we're going to go on this new plane we just created. I'll go to my front view, or my right view in this case, so we can see a little better. And again, it's just a circle starting at the origin. And this time, uh, we measured it to be 0.725 inch. Uh, then we finish our sketch. And we'll connect those two with a loft. So all I'm going to do is hit my loft. Uh, and then I need to get my one end. And I'm going to click and rotate. And it goes to the opposite end. And hit our green check to accept. Uh, so that gives us our first run up to where our pen gets a little fatter. Uh, then we're going to have the pen come back uh, where it's going to get a little more narrow. This is where your clicker components are going to be. Uh, we're not going to add the clicker components in this video. We're going to add those in our next video. Uh, so we're going to hit plane and we're going to select plane one and then we want plane two to be behind it. So opposite direction and this time the distance is 0.96. So almost the same value, just a little bit less. Uh, I'll hit my green check to accept and that gives us plane two. Uh, if you don't want to see plane 1, you can hit the I to get rid of it. If you don't want to see the right plane, you can hit the I to get rid of that. Uh, make it a little less messy out here. Uh, then we want to do a sketch, and we're going to sketch on plane 2. Again, we want to start at the origin, so I'll change my view. You don't have to, but just to make sure we're on the origin, we'll change our view, and we'll make a circle. At right, this time, the circle we measure to be 0 0.525. So it's like 0.525. Hit our green check to accept, and then we'll do another loft in this case. So I'm going to hit loft, same way as last time. We click in our circle, I'll rotate it around so we can click our other circle. And that gives us where those clicker components are going to end up being. Uh, then we finish that sketch, and next we're going to make a circle on this plane we just created. So now I'm going to sketch, I'm going to go on that surface I just created, and select a circle. Uh, you can do it from this view. I'll keep it consistent and change to this uh, left-hand view this time and make sure we're on the origin. Uh, this time, our circle is going to have a radio, uh, diameter of 0.575. So 0.575, and that sets it in place. Uh, then all we have to do is extrude. So green check and then extrude. When you get that circle, I'll change to an ISO so you can see what's going on. And this time, we want to go a distance of 0.15. Uh, this is the portion that you see our threads on the backhand side on. So that's just going to be that back threaded portion. Uh, hit our green check to accept. And that gives us that threaded portion that we're going to have. Then next we're going to have this little stubby point on the end. Uh, so we need to sketch that. So I hit my green check. Hit my center point circle. Make sure you can do it from this view if you get that box. And then we 
draw a circle, and it needs a distance of a diameter of 0.25. Hit enter, and then green check to accept, uh, then extrude, click inside that circle, and this time it's going to go a distance we measured of 0.105. Uh, hit our green check to accept, and you can see that little stubby portion we have on there. Uh, so that gives us our end. Uh, next, I'm going to hollow it out, and then I'm going to add my threads. So on this one, it's only open on the front side. So when I hit my shell tool, hit shell, only can click on the front side, and our shell is going to have a thickness, same as the front of 0.04. Uh, and that's just to keep it consistent all the way through. I hit our green check to accept, and now we have it shelled out. Uh, next, we're going to add the threading on the front and on the back. So I'm going to use my custom features we've used before, same thing we used on the nose piece. And we're going to start in the front. So we did that extrusion where it's flat, so we could add our threads inside it. So I'm going to click inside it. Uh, my pitch is going to be 0 0.05. And since we extruded this part and lofted the next part, we don't have to worry about setting a distance because we just want it to be threaded there on that front portion. Uh, if we change our view, without moving our view, if we change our view and look inside, uh, you can be able to see that it's not threaded all the way down, it's just threaded there on the front. So we'll hit our green check to accept those threads, uh, and that's what's going to thread into the front. Then we want to do our threads on the back. So I'm going to rotate my view and use the same feature. So that uh, custom feature, uh, remember the threading doesn't go on the first one, but on the second one. Again, it's got a pitch of 0.05. And it's only on that one little segment. It doesn't come back onto uh, the segment in front of it. So we have a green check to accept. And that gives us our back end. Uh, then we're going to rename the part. And I'm going to name this my pen housing. That's the main central portion of our housing. I uh, call it pen middle as well. Uh, then I want to edit appearance. So edit appearance. And I'm going to make it that white color we've used before. Uh, we're not done with this piece. We need to make our holes for our clicker, but I'm going to do that in a separate video uh, because we have some holes, some extrusions, some uh, other components to add with that. So hopefully this helps you get that base outline for your pen. Uh, next time we'll add in some more components and make this housing. Thank you and good luck.